Hey guys, Lee here, back with some more Serial M2. Uh, I know it's been a little bit since uh, we have done a video. I've been a little busy. Um, minor accident at work, uh, cut myself. Uh, the, the cut is healing, uh, it did require some stitches and then damn, my phone broke so it took me a little bit longer to get recording than I would like to. But I am back, um, hopefully I'll be able to produce regular videos. School also just started for me. So I am having a six hour class and uh, that's fun. But we are going to do some leveling today. Um, my meal bonus plus 100% minus sigils has worn off. Interesting. Okay. Um, we are going to try and get some target stats becoming what's the lowest stat cast on extra target. Interesting. That's a cool spell. Um, Going over here, managed spell gems. All creatures resurrected. Uh, yes, we're doing that. That's insane. That's really powerful. Sacred ground. All creatures get scorned. Scorn's all right. Starfire. Enemies taking a lot of random damage and are afflicted with either scorn or sounds for one turn. That's really good. Damage increased by 400%. That's awesome. And this afflicted with stun for a turn. 90% chance to cast some hit. Cost 34% max health. Um, interesting. Okay. So, my options are Humility or Stasis Sword. Uh, I think we're gonna go with Humility. Stasis Sword is cool, but I'd, write, I'd rather, um... Oh. Okay, cool, yeah. Stasis Sword is something I'd prefer to put on a tank-type character. But we're gonna try and get some leveling done. Wow, Dragon Scout. I want that so bad. It's a dragon. It's, it's a, it doesn't even matter if it's good, it's a dragon. Like, it's just too good not to have. Um, assuming I don't party wipe. Um, that would be awesome. Let's find out what it does. After an enemy attack, reduces their effect percent. Okay, so this is like the, the phantom dragon from the last game um, that would get like an, X, like an X percent every time it attacked, which is like my uh, Dust Crusader right now. Um, but yeah, as I said, I, I want to get some leveling done. Hopefully we can get rid of one of these bosses, um, the, the level 15 boss. I know in 20 minutes it's hard to get a lot of things done in this game, but 20 minute, 20 minute to 30 minute episodes I think is the way I want to record it. And even if I have to record two at a time, I'm... What am I? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong key. Um, I think that's the best way to break it up any longer, and I feel like it's just going to drag on too long for you guys. And any shorter, I just don't think I'm going to get anything done. So we are going to hopefully not lose this combat, and then the experience we get from this will make uh, the the new guys, the Wolpertinger, the Unicorn, and the uh, the new Berserker Fiend, which some of you might be questioning why I did that, uh, why I bred my Berserker Fiend and got a new Berserker Fiend. The reason for that is because I think the Gene Strength Multiplier, or at least added stats, are going to be worth the starting from level zero. Dang, my guys are getting strong fast. Uh, I'm going to try to kill this Valkyrie Scout first, just so I don't have to deal with the retaliation. I feel like that's going to slow down the fight a lot. Okay. Next, this um, this Minotaur is going to be my target, just because uh, the scaling uh, on his attack it goes up more and more every turn, and that's going to be too much for me to deal with. Let's see. It is frustrating because my low-level guys are missing 90% of their attacks because of the way um, scaling works. Chaos, sorcery, sorcery, death. So I'm going to cast Scourge, death. I don't have enough mana. And I'll cast Volcano because I forgot I had that. Ooh, that's a really powerful spell. That is that is awesome. Let's see. Sand Giant's healing takes a while. But I guess that's okay. Nope. Still alive, what can I do? We're gonna, oh, no. Gem of Starfire, I think is what I want. They resist it? That's weird, I didn't know you could just like straight up resist spells. Uh, I'm gonna go for an extraction, because even if I'm not gonna use this creature, dragons are cool, I'm sure that, uh, the guy, Zach, uh, the guys at Thylacon Studios understand how cool dragons are. Um, and that I'm sure dragons are going to have some ridiculous uh, stats later on in the game. Um, there we 
go. Ooh, six or seven levels out of that. That's awesome. That ritual's done. I will go get that later. Gold? Interesting. Guessing that's part of a quest to get the, the God's Favor? Because normally if it doesn't say anything and it just disappears, that's to get God's Favor. Huh. Um, ooh, a carnage. Those are cool. So I think I'm going to try and get the Stronghold Core. Because the Stronghold I, uh, I have has a lot of possible breeding partners. Oh, that's cool. So the Wolpertinger casts, I think it's like random death spells or something. Um, after each turn. So... That can be potentially very strong. Uh, but yeah, I would like to get a... These stronghold cores, stuff that I can breed away. And... Um, I, I've been checking out YouTube. I've seen some uh, some other guys recording Serial M2. I think that's awesome. I don't think there's enough people who actually do Let's Plays of the Serial M game. And I, I've seen... I haven't seen anyone who's gone past episode 2. So hopefully I can... Uh, I can keep this going and... Uh, create some content that you guys are just going to love to see because that's really what I, I enjoy playing these games and if I can bring my enjoyment to you guys that's really what I want to do but if uh, if any of you guys out there who uh, record um, like playing these games if, if you guys want to play some games uh, I know you can't see my desktop I am in windowed mode although um, uh, I, I play some Hearthstone Dungeon Defenders 2 my buddy uh, Paul McGoblin is actually uh, planning on recording some Dungeon Defenders 2 with me tomorrow I just hit the level cap, so that'll be fun. Um, but if you guys want to play something like that with me, just drop me a message or leave me a comment and let me know. Um, so it looks like my party's pretty weak right now. Enemies, and not enough mana. Not enough mana. Everything costs mana. That's dumb. See, lightning strike. No, let's just. We're gonna kill this carnage if we can. Okay, maybe not. We're not gonna kill the carnage. Uh, I need to get rid of that Dust Crusader next, if possible. Um, enemies take a moderate amount of damage. We're just gonna do that. AoE damage is strong. Oh, okay. Um, looks like I might party wipe here. That's not good. One damage, oh lord. Although it appears my uh, my giant's just not going to take very much damage from these guys. Um, that Dust Crusader is eventually just going to outscale me though. So I need to start killing off. I need to get rid of this Carver as soon as possible because I think he's going to be the main damage dealer in the party. I, I think I'm in a really... I'm not in a good spot. Um... It could be worse. But the fact that they can't just one-shot me seems to be, um... Seems to be very strong. Because mostly this game is, um... It's mostly about two-shotting characters, um, especially in the early, uh, combats, when you don't have a lot of those large damage AoE spells, or enough mana to just cast them willy-nilly. So, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to go for this Dust Crusader at some point. Just straight up resist. How do they resist? That seems strange to me. Yeah, I think this is a lost combat because his defense has now outscaled me. So this is not the first time this has happened to me. Um, in my first playthrough, um, I did not mean to provoke there. In my first playthrough, um, I was the one who had the Dust Crusader and just the Sand Giants eventually uh, just, I, I wasn't able to kill them and they would just heal off any damage I dealt. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I deal zero damage. Okay. 
plus 886 defense. I guess we're going to have to flee from this combat. Oh, he takes 40% more damage. Maybe that will help. If I can actually hit him. I don't think I will be able to hit him, unfortunately. Oh, two damage. Wow. What? That's some luck right there. That is insane. All right, guys. Essence. Need a penny, take a penny. Collect coins in this realm to bolster Sierland's economy. Okay. So it, this is the duty that I would uh, I would normally be getting. There's that teleporter, which I really want to use, but I'm going to see actually how good these duties are. Uh-oh. Uh That's not good. Poison gas. This Wolper Tinker, though. It's really strong. Oh, whenever he takes damage, he casts a spell. That's really cool. That's really cool. Our Berserker Fiend's actually able to deal damage at this point, which is awesome. I think I'm just going to go for AoE damage and see if that works. The Holy Explosion, and then the Volcano. Maybe that's actually enough to carry me for the next few levels. That would be awesome. Let's see here, volcano, and then the burn, and do it again. Looks like this combat is over. There we go. It's awesome. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, my sugar gliders are making cute sounds while they sleep. I have sugar gliders. They, uh, they're good pets. Um, to anyone who wants to get them, make sure you, uh, you can spend time with them at night. Uh, they're social creatures, and they make a lot of noise at night. They bark and squeak and run around and jump. But they're also really loyal, so... Um, they're, they're great pets. Essence, Brimstone. I looked at, a uh, No Man's Sky today. Um, one of the guys at work was telling me about it. It's a mimic? It's a mimic. One of the guys at work was telling me about it, and I, uh, watched, like, this 20-minute video. And it looks really, really good. Um, my understanding is... The, the release date keeps getting pushed back, and that is a big problem. But it just looks like such a fun game. If uh, if I can get a chance to record that when it comes out, or if it's out, I'm going to take a look after this. Um, but if I get a chance to record that, I definitely will. Um, if I think it is multiplayer, I don't know if it's going to be server-based or if it's actually going to be an MMO. But if I can uh, get my buddy... Uh, over at Pullman Goblin's channel to record that, I would love to get some co-op gameplay. Um, and if you guys haven't uh, seen his videos, check him out. He does a lot, uh, much more content than I do. It's a big variety of different things, um, sketches, um, and he, he plays a big variety of games, whereas most of my gameplay is Serial M, Serial M2, and then uh, I know some of my older videos are Pokemon. I still play, just not as competitively as I used to. Um, how much? Okay. I don't know what Hellcry Punch is. I think I have one of those gems. I think it's a Chaos Gem. Um, I kind of want to equip it to something now because it seems to be doing a lot of work for this mimic. It's making this combat much harder. And I would like to extract that core, but I don't think you can actually extract mimic cores, unfortunately. Any Carver, any Spectre, Demented Carver. Gem of Magic Expression. Each enemy is inflicted with silence for one turn. Duration increased by three. Wow. So, four turns. 11% chance to cast on hit. 11% chance to cast win hit. That's cool. That's that's pretty good. Um, I think that's better against sorcery creatures, but that's good. Ooh, the Diabolic Horde guys. Do I... Zero cores, one core, one core, one core, one core. I really like that they added that, that it tells me how many of each core uh, I have. 
I also like how, um, well, I kind of like, I kind of dislike how you need uh, just one core instead of three cores to get a creature now. It makes it easier to get some of those rarer creatures, which that's all right, but at the same time, if it's a rare creature, it's supposed to be rare, right? Like, in the Dragon Quest games, those metal slimes were very rare, but when you recruited one, if you could train it up, it would do a lot of damage. Not a lot of damage, a lot of um, defense, and then it would um, cast some spells. It would cast all the spells that had way too much mana. Let's see, Volcano. Wow. I think this should kill them. The, there he goes. The Minotaur's dead. Next, we're going to go for the Wolpertinger, and then after that, we're going to go for the Mummy, I think. Vicious Wolpertinger cast Mind Control. Fire Wolpertinger cast Night Sword. Um, interesting. Deals damage to mana. I feel like that's useful during boss fights, but... In general, spells that damage mana just don't seem to be very effective. Unless they do it on such a large scale that enemies just can't cast spells. In which case, late in the game, that would be much stronger. Uh, I'm going to target these mortally wounded guys just to get them out of here. Keep dying. <sighs> Troll arsonist. I have one of those cores, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. Awesome, awesome. Oh my gosh, guy. Okay. There we go. Dang, level 13 already. Do these have artifacts equipped? They do. Okay, cool. I was going to say, I hope they do. If they don't, this has been wasting, uh, maybe not wasting time, but taking longer than it needs to. Carver and, ooh, those ghouls. Looks like a brownie mauler as well. Am I missing any of these cores? I don't have any of those. Ooh, the brownie mauler cores as well. I think I'm going to try to get both of these cores. One mauler and one, um, devour. Does that buff my stats? Yeah, I steal his offensive stats. That's really cool. Oh, and the unicorn buffs uh, my stat gain as well. That's really cool. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. Oh my. That's really cool all the buffs and they all have berserk I feel like I, I feel like this combat's over maybe not oh my I'm still going to go with the Volcano, because I think Volcano is going to outdeal my uh, melee attacks on my uh, Stronghold. Even with the buffs. Does that make sense? Oh no. Uh, looks like the Brownie is gone. And, oh, okay. Wow, 384. That's a great combo right there. My guys deal a lot of damage right now. That's that's a really crazy combo. I wonder if uh, the beast within stacks with itself so you can just get like an infinite loop. Which sounds good until you realize it will literally loop forever and uh, you will not get the chance to use your attack buff. Uh, trait incursion? Artifacts. Nature shield level 1. View its trait. Your creatures with like debuff on hit properties have a one. Oh, doubles chance to uh, to apply to apply debuffs on hit. That seems 
good. It doesn't seem great. I mean, debuffs are, they're all right. I'd prefer to buff my creatures than debuff the enemy creatures, but I mean, doubling debuff chance is still good. These little walls right here that aren't actual walls should get fixed. That seems just like a procedural generation error that... I don't know if that's an easy fix, but... What's this? Dust Crusader and some other guys? Ooh! And one of these... Oh, never mind, it's dead. Well, that sucks. Oh! I attacked my guy. I need to be more careful. That was not on purpose. Murder of crows. We are gonna try to kill this Death Crusader so we don't have to deal with any bad luck causing him to scale forever and ever. That's an annoying combo. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to kill this guy first. Seems to be a, a visual bug where the recently dead guy uh, receives the poison animation. I don't know if he actually gets counted as poisoned. I, I assume the combat will end because he's at zero health and invisible, but... I mean... This wolf pretender is just really strong. Yeah, that's a visual bug that should get fixed. Uh, it should check um, HP before it performs the animation. Uh, Zach or anyone else from Thylakine, I don't know if you're a lone developer anymore. Um, that is, I, I, I make games myself, that is something that is a relatively easy fix. Um, it shouldn't take too long to, uh... Yeah, that single target spell targeting a recently dead guy should, uh, should definitely get patched, for sure. Um, and that is an easy fix. Um, at least when I was, uh, programming, I don't know, it, what, what you guys have, uh, set up for your stuff. A mimic! I want, I want one time for it just to not be a mimic. Just, it's just a moving treasure chest that's not actually alive. Okay. I think it's just gonna keep going if it kills someone, which is interesting. Can I check? Minus 20 defense. Okay. Vilify. I don't know what Vilify does. Uh, it looks like it inflicts a random debuff? I don't know, that's weird. That man heals so much health. It's crazy. What's it gonna cast? Pestilence. Hmm. Oh, he just straight up resists the damage from Volcano? No, is it a chance to resist? That's very weird. And he's healed so much. Oh my gosh. I feel like this mimic is just a boss. With an blight. Got a lot of debuffs on him. He should be dead soon. <laughs> Dang. Come on, guy. Just go down.
He's just wounded? How do you fight this? What are my options here? Dang. His turns take forever, too. I think my Berserk Fiend and my Vile Wolper Tinger are just like my best options for attacking. Purgatory? Last place. Oh, so I guess that just moves him to the bottom of the, uh, the turn order? Heavily wounded. Is that mortally now? Come on, bro. Burn damage. Still not enough to kill. Soul Sacra. Oh no. Um, okay, that's weird. Okay. You can die. I believe in you. Almost. God, he has to be so close to death. He has to be like right there. Oh, he's, not, he's asleep too. Oh no, my Wolpertinger's dead. That's a fun word. Sudden death, 33. Well, he's not suddenly dead. I'm still casting spells from the grave. Wait, are you dying? Oh, he is dying. Thank the Lord. There better be some good loot in here. Any giant, any Doomguard Tower giant. Doom guard, doom guard, doom guard. What is a doom guard? More damage up to life. Additional spell gem slots. That seems. Treasure hunter number two. Person, yay. Handful of granite. Easy money. All right. It's always nice finding these places that you thought you had explored, but not. Hopefully, I can find this last piece of gold. I would love complete this quest. Oh, no, but I can't go through that. Okay. Dang. These maps are huge. Ooh. Can you manage... What class? Uh, death? Is it death? Yeah. The lich belongs to the death class? I would never have guessed. That is... That is way over my head. Come on, coins. There you go. Uh, ooh, new costume. Such relics are intensely desired by the gods. Gloves, blight on hit, start battle, protect immune to poison crystal gain. Oh my lord. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. Where's the teleporter? Teleporter. Teleporter. Come here. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a, it, oh, it does show on the map. Was it not showing for me, or am I just stupid? It's probably a little bit of both. Cool. Uh, servant Hunter. Um, is it nature? Cool. That was a lucky guess. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. That's that's not good. That's bad. It's the opposite of good. It's bad. I need to kill this Valkyrie Scout. I don't know why I did that. The Valkyrie Scout and the Carnage have to go. The Scout's just going to make this fight take too long, and the Carnage could wreck my team if it gets set up properly. for all the area of effects. Holy explosion. Oh wow, that was awesome. Volcano. Oh, well. 
Not dead yet. Still not dead. Okay. He should be dying. Although, if I can't hit him, it doesn't matter if he's dying. Burn damage, there we go. Oh my gosh, all the notifications. Soft pincer. Uh, interesting. Alright, guys. Um, I hate to, to wrap up on a on a note that uh, isn't a good note to end on, but I think that's going to be it for me. Uh, I will see you guys next time.